Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. X Factor star Jamie Hensley was heartbroken last night after his fiancée Ollie Marmon fell to his death from a hotel window just weeks before their wedding. Union J singer Jamie, 34, was arrested on suspicion of murder after Ollie, 33, plunged more than 30 feet from their top floor suite on Sunday night. But no further action was taken against the heartbroken singer, watched by 10 million viewers on the hit ITV show, as police passed the case to the coroner. Officers appealed for any footage after Ollie fell through a small open window onto a footpath at Wellingborough, North Ants. Guests at the Hind Hotel rushed outside to try to save Ollie but the stylist was later pronounced dead at the scene. Jamie who had a UK top 10 album after coming fourth on X Factor in 2014, was being comforted over the loss of the man he described as, my strength and stay all these years. A source close to the pop star's family said the tragedy was, unbelievable. Ollie's death is said to have come as the pair were reunited after a period apart, in preparation for their wedding next month. A source said, the whole thing is just devastating. It's a terrible tragedy. The police and ambulance crews were there in minutes, but it was just too late. Police said a full post-mortem is set to be carried out with formal identification planned. Following the findings of the home office pathologist and a review of the evidential material, the murder inquiry run by the East Midland Special Operations Unit's major crime team has now been stood down. Detectives confirmed they were no longer treating the case as murder following the results of a forensic post-mortem confirming the death was caused by fall injuries. It meant Jamie Hensley was released without charge. DCI Johnny Campbell said, It is only right that an incident such as this is treated with the utmost seriousness, to make sure we have done all we can to understand what has happened, and to get the answers those left behind need and want. In Ollie's case I can confirm the evidence we have examined did not support his death as a homicide, which has now been further confirmed by the results of the preliminary forensic post-mortem report. Our initial findings and decision have been explained to Ollie's family who will continue to be supported by Northamptonshire police as they mourn the loss of their loved one. A 34-year-old man arrested in connection with this incident has been released without charge and is now assisting the investigation team with the coroner's process. Northamptonshire police confirmed a file was being prepared for the coroner's office. Ollie's family paid tribute to the 33-year-old as a spiritual, gentle soul, who was beautiful both inside and out. Ollie's mum Julie said, Words cannot express the devastation and heartbreak I feel over the loss of my beautiful youngest son Oliver, Ollie to his friends. I can't believe I am having to write this. No mother should have to do this. The relationship I had with Oliver was so special, he was my best friend. We spoke every single day. He called me mummy, he used to call me his guardian angel. Oliver was so caring, loving, quiet and always put others before himself. He was a very talented hairdresser, and it was a passion he took seriously.